What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of The Smuggler's Run. This is episode 2. If you guys missed the first one, make sure to go check it out. It was insane. We bought this ridiculous hangar, customized it, got everything set up, and now we're ready to start our journey. Now, uh, before we get into the actual missions with this DLC, I plan on buying and customizing every single new vehicle in the game. Now, we did a little preview of these in the last episode, but we'll do a quick one here. You guys can see we've got four new vehicles in Warstock. We've got three new vehicles in Elitus. We've got a brand new supercar in Legendary Motorsport. And then we've also got a new vehicle in Super Autos. So in total, that's seven new vehicles. And I calculated it up. It's going to be about $22.5 million just for the stock vehicles. That doesn't include adding things on and customizing and making them look cool. So this is going to be an insane spending spree. It's honestly probably going to be around $50 million over the next couple of episodes. So I hope you guys enjoy. And once we do all that, then we're going to start hopping into the missions. So where do we want to start? I want to start with a bang. We're going to start with Warstock here. And um, I mean, you guys can see... Some of these things are pushing $5 million for their buyout price. So I'm going to say, dude, let's start with this. The V65 Molotov. Holy cow. $4.7 million buy it now price. Say what you like about the Reds, but they knew a thing or two about Brutalist Military Chic. The V65 Molotov has been reproduced in Juntas and Dictatorships right across the developing world. And that's not just because of its lethal efficiency or its complete indifference to the comfort and safety of the pilot. It's because when you look this merciless, the battle's won before you've even taken off. All right, $4.7 million to that. Oh my gosh, just shot right in the chest right there. It's gonna be delivered to the hangar shortly. Holy cow, dude, this is gonna be so nuts. All right. That's a nice aircraft you bought. Now be good to yourself, that's what I say. Now sometimes that's hard to remember. Now if, if you don't treat yourself right, I, uh, no one else will. And I mean no one. Look, if you want to make that aircraft even nicer, with some modifications, you bring it to Charlie's workshop in the hangar. He'll look after you. All right, sounds good to me. So, all we've got to do is wait until this thing is delivered, and we're going to have a brand shiny new aircraft in here. And here she is, our newest addition. Holy cow. All right, let's go ahead and hop in this thing. And uh, first things first, we've got to get it customized. Dude, this... Look at the size of this cockpit. It's so tiny. Oh my goodness. There's no way I would fit in that thing. Holy cow. I wonder what the legroom's like. All right. So, armor, countermeasures, drop tanks, engine handling, livery, respray, and weapons. We're going to start with armor. We're going to fully upgrade the armor. Countermeasures, chaff, flare, white smoke, black smoke, blue smoke, all sorts of, uh, of smokes. All right. So, I'm going to go with the flare here. These things are going to redirect incoming missiles, which is pretty good. That's that's going to be solid. Chaff is uh, blocking missile lock-on. It's got 10 capacity. So chaff is just kind of like a weak flare. So we definitely wanted to flare. The smoke creates a smoke trail, and it disorients pursuing aircraft. So it kind of creates a smoke screen behind you, which is kind of interesting. Actually, you know what? Just for fun, let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so we're going to go with that. Drop tanks. What in the world? Okay, sure, I guess I'll take those. Go ahead and upgrade the engine. Upgrade to race handling livery. Oh my goodness, dude. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. This is insane. Respray, primary color. Oh my gosh, the black and red, dude, that looks so good. All right, so we're gonna go with that. And then secondary color. We're just going to keep that red. We aren't going to change that off of red. That looks really good. Candy red or should we go with like a, a formula red? I feel like the candy red kind of matches the, uh, I don't know, the, the other reds on the livery are kind of a little bit more of a pinkish, but we're, we're going to go with that. All right, looks good to me. And then weapons, we could put some homing missiles on there. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. All right, let's go ahead and exit the hangar and we're going to take this thing out for a spin. Let's see what this thing's about. I like it so far. This is uh, this is off to a good start. Woo! All right, she's got some gump. That was a quick takeoff, man. Felt good. It's gonna be really nice to be able to fly over Zancudo and not worry about uh, people wanting to shoot us down and stuff. That's crazy though. The missiles cost. You have to buy the missiles for it. Got a low-level access pass. You can hear him talking to me. That's kind of cool. But um, 
Man, all right, so this is our first plane. Honestly, not the fastest plane in the world. It's, uh, it could be quicker. I feel like we'd rather have like the, the military jet or, or Harrier or something like that. But overall, not too bad. All right, we definitely, we don't, we don't want to be shooting anybody inside the base here. So we're gonna head out. Let's go ahead and swoop on by this yacht. What's up, bro? What up? Sorry, homie. Didn't mean to cause any damage. All right, so we're gonna come on back around this way. We're gonna take it in. We're gonna land it, and we're gonna head back into our hangar and grab our next vehicle. I just want to make sure that when we go after these missions, we have everything that we're gonna need. You know what I mean? I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be slacking on our our equipment status. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just bring it on in here. Beautiful. Dude, this is so sick having a base here out at Fort Sincudo. This is insane. Drop around this way. It's good to me. Can we just taxi on in the hangar? Looks like we can. <laughs> Dude, that thing looks nuts. All right. Go ahead and pull her in. So. That's a quick way to spend like probably around six million dollars just like that. Holy cow, that, uh, man. This is gonna be an interesting couple episodes. I say for the second one of this episode, let's just keep the high rolling going and we're gonna be going for the Tula. Personally, this is the one I'm most excited for. This thing is absolutely nuts. It's the most expensive plane that was added in to this game, you guys can see. 5.1 million dollar buy it now price absolutely nuts, but this thing it has a VTOL mode So it's a plane that can go to a helicopter, and I'm pretty sure it's also amphibious Remember the kid who always had a multi-tool with him remember how popular he was and how often he got laid Well, if he had survived high school There's only one set of keys that he would have had in his fanny pack the Tula is a quad prop monster with a VTOL and water landing capabilities space for turrets and a bomb bay and the capacity for JTO upgrades be prepared holy cow so this thing is literally a little bit of everything obviously it's going to be big it's going to be heavy it's not going to be the fastest but it's going to be able to get anything done that you want to get done this is going to be really cool are you serious right now look at this thing Quad props here. This is absolutely nuts, dude. This this takes the cake. This absolutely takes... Look at the size of the machine gun on the back. That's a turret. It's not even a machine gun. How do we get to the gunner's bay? There's got to be a way we can switch back there. Probably when we're outside of the hangar. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade this thing all the way. Armor, countermeasures. Uh, this time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with flares again. I, just, I think flares are going to be the best option. Uh, EMS upgrade, handling, race handling. We'll see how much that actually works. This thing, uh, this, Big Bertha. That's the name of this thing, Big Bertha. Livery, keep running. Bombardier, see you later. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like the old school. It's got a, a bird dropping a bomb. That's actually pretty sick. All aboard with a naked chick? Yes, that's gotta be it. How high, Air Emu. Coast Guard and Noose, National Office of Security Enforcement. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say we've, we've got a, we're putting the naked lady on the front, of course, here on Big Bertha. All right, all aboard, looks good to me. Now, respray, we're gonna change up the colors here for sure. Um, what should we do? Dude, all of these look so good. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the, the, the blue. We're going to go with the ultra blue here. And then for a secondary color, what should we do? I feel like we want to go with the red, the lava red, the blue and red, because it kind of matches the logo and matches everything else. Then we've got the yellow accents on the nose and on the, uh, the edges of the, the props. All right, cool. Looks good to me. We've got that. Beautiful. Sell. We don't want to sell it. Thrust. What is JATO? Jet assisted takeoff. The JATO can be triggered with ground assist for short range takeoffs. Absolutely, dude. Weapons, bombs, explosive, incendiary gas or cluster. Well, 
I'm going for the most expensive to start things off. So we're going to go with cluster bombs and then primary weapons. We can go dual 50 cal turret or a minigun. What do you guys think? we got to go for the minigun, right? 762 minigun? All right. Looks good to me. And um, let's go ahead and exit the hangar. Here we go, boys. This thing is going to be nuts. Now, how do we put it in helicopter mode? Hold right to move between the gun turret and the pilot seat while grounded. And press right to activate VTOL mode. All right. So I'm going to hold right. And we're going to get back in the back of this thing. Dude, are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? All right. You know what? We're going to go. We're going to go first person. And then we're going to. Oh, shoot. We don't want to do that. Uh, how do we? This is pretty cool in itself. And then we're gonna hold a right. Oh my God, dude, this is so nuts. And this is what it looks like inside. Okay, that's pretty cool. When ground and VTOL is not engaged, press L3 to trigger the Drado thrust, land the plane and recharge the Jado thrust for repeated use. Oh, okay. So, um, we're gonna do this. Jado thrust, what? Hold right to open the bomb bay doors. Circle to toggle the bombing camera. X to drop a bomb. Hold X to engage carpet bombing. Oh my god, dude. This is so nuts. Alright, so I'm going to close up the bomb doors for now. I want to check out everything else this thing has to offer. We can put the landing gear up. Let's go ahead and hop down here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and land it on the water, because why not? This thing's amphibious. No. <laughs> Dude. We're out here in the ocean surfing on waves in our VTOL plane. All right, now let's, let's go VTOL mode. You press right to make it go VTOL mode. Upsy-daisy, here we go. No freaking way, dude. There's nothing that this can't do. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the coolest vehicle in the game. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, coolest vehicle. Can we, we can change it out of VTOL mode in midair. Oh, we're dropping, we're dropping. Okay, okay. Oh, that was, that was a little bit sketchy. We're gonna have to keep that in mind for the future. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. So like, let's say we're coming in. Oh, I want to land on this highway. I don't really have a lot of time. All right. Let me just engage VTOL mode. I'll put my landing gear down. BRB, bro. We're still kind of floating forward quite a bit. There we go. BRB, dude. I'm, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to pick up a, a spicy chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Let me just land right in the parking lot real quick. All right. Got my spicy chicken sandwich. I'm going to hop back in my VTOL. Oh, we don't have a, a runway? We can just go straight up. Why not just go straight up? Because that's what we do around here. Okay, I think you guys know what we have to do next, though. I think you know what we have to do next. There's a major feature that we have not checked out yet. And that, my friends, is going to be the carpet bombing feature. So we're going to head this way. Go ahead and switch this back to normal mode. We are going to drop a little bit, so we do have to watch out for that. What we're going to do is, it was, it was, uh, was it right to open the bomb bay doors? No, it, it was hold right, I'm pretty sure. So you can't cancel. When you go into VTOL mode, you can't cancel it and immediately go back. You got to, it's got to do like the full animation. Hold right. All right, circle. Oops. Bombing camera. No way. Dude, you could watch it go all the way down. All right, here we go. Now we're going to go carpet bombing mode. But I kind of want... I kind of want an exciting... Here we go. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of hard to hit people. We're going to have to get to a, a more... Compact to area. It's kind of hard to figure out exactly where these things are going to end up because you're, I mean, you're moving forward the entire time and so are the bombs. But this is so insane. 
Let's just head to the, the closest residential area that we have here, downtown Los Santos. And uh, we're going to cause some mass chaos. Oh my goodness, dude. All right, I want like a long straight street with a bunch of cars. That's my goal here. It's kind of hard to, to fully line yourself up. I'm just like mesmerized by this. You've run out of bombs. Return to your personal aircraft tanker to refill the cluster bomb's capacity. Holy cow, dude. All right. I would say this is the best $5.1 million we've ever... Actually, it was probably closer to, to 6 or $7 million based off of... Uh, based off of the, uh, the upgrades and stuff that we did. But easily the best money we've ever spent. This is absolutely insane. I love this thing. I absolutely love it, dude. And we've got a naked lady on the side. Literally, what could go wrong? I want to see if we can... Can we ghost ride the whip? Oh, we can't. Shoot, you have to be grounded, don't you? I was hoping it was just taking our, while, our, our guy a while to get back there. I was wanting to, to see if we could... Um, uh, get on the machine gun in the back, but unfortunately you can't do that while you're up in the air. That would have been sick But uh, all right, here we go boys. We're coming in hot We're gonna go ahead and uh, Open up our Our VTOL mode Holy cow, dude. Of course I'm getting shot at I wish I had more bombs Give me inside yes Barely made it, baby. We got it. All right, so I want to see how much it's going to cost us to refill our cluster bomb. Oh, I just noticed that there might be guns on the front of this thing, too. We didn't even check those out. Dude, this is seriously... This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. All right, so we're going to modify it. How do we get um, weapons, bombs, cluster? How do we... We already have that installed. Is it just automatically refilled? It might just automatically be refilled. Exit the aircraft workshop, exit the aircraft. We're gonna exit the aircraft. Dude, that's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. I'm so happy right now. We're straight dropping bombs on fools. We gotta check out the gas bombs and the incendiary bombs and stuff like that. But hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Those are the two most expensive vehicles that are part of this DLC. If you guys wanna see more today, make sure to drop a like on this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.